So hopefully this is going to be a real quick video. I wanted to talk about this hi-hat and uh, Strike Pro SE. Uh, I was tweaking up my uh, settings and I wanted to go in here and fool with this and figure I can make it a little sound a little better and, you know, do whatever I can with it. And uh, I uh, realized that I had this thing set up wrong and uh, it was spinning. You take notes, it's not spinning now. But this thing was just spinning around and I, every time I play it, you know, every time I hit the hi-hat, this thing would just wind up spinning around. The cords would come around here and get all tangled. I'm sure everybody had that, has had that problem already. But uh, I did a little research and I was going nuts here trying to figure this out. So I finally fucking figured out this goddamn thing and what the problem was. So turns out these hi-hat stands were not really made with uh, electronic drum kits in mind. Uh, a normal acoustic kit... You know, the, the, the hi-hats can spin, no big deal. Some argue it's better for the sound, whatever. But for uh, electronic drum kits, this thing can't spin, it shouldn't spin. It's supposed to be pretty much go like that because you have basically the trigger, the sensitivity spots are right here to here. So that would make sense, you know, when you're playing, you hit the hi-hat. You know, it's kind of like, you're supposed to like see where the logo is. On this kit, it's in uh, <clears throat> it's in back of the logo. So this damn thing was spinning, and I was like, ah, this is annoying because I was hitting it here, and then you would play, and then the back of it doesn't get the right uh, sound as the as the sweet spot got. So it's kind of it was annoying the hell out of me. So I'm like, all right, what's going on? Is it the hi hat stand? Is it is it the actual pad? Uh, is it a, you know, is a trigger setting in there? Something I got a tweak. I went through everything. It was nothing. Turns out it's the simplest goddamn thing. Right here, uh, the pole, you know, the thing basically that you unscrew this and your hi-hat comes off. You basically just take this once a month and turn it to the right and tighten it up because this thing was loose on me. I'm like, oh my God, it's the simplest thing to do. And uh, sometimes the simplest things are the answer. So that was like, uh, that was really annoying, but it solved the problem. Now this thing, as you can see, doesn't spin. It stops. Before it was spinning right around and these damn uh, cables would get all, uh, you know, twisted in here. And I was like, all right, this is getting on my nerves. So yeah, that's what I ended up doing because this thing can't spin because there's internal, there's an internal mechanism in here that has a... Uh, wires and whatnot and if that thing spins and you guys are doing that uh you can damage it so you need it to stop spinning and there's a couple other hacks you go on youtube to uh do this but the thing the important thing to remember is these hi-hat stands were not made with electronic drum kits in mind so you know that's a good idea for a product out there anybody who maybe does amazon fba outsources products, you know, get stuff made and sell shit on uh, Amazon. Maybe they can invent one. I, I don't know of any specifically hi-hat stands that are made for electronic drum kits. So that might be something out there, some uh, resourceful person that uh, maybe wants to uh, manufacture a product like that because I don't know of any. But anyway, solve the problem. You don't want your hi-hat spinning because you want to get it to the sweet spot. Because if it spins, the sweet spot back here is not the sweet spot, it comes around front and you hit it and the sound's fucked up. It's, it's off. You know, it's, uh, it, it, it's lighter in the back here and you, it doesn't sound good at all, but right here, it's, that's the sweet spot. You need to keep that right where you're playing your hi-hat. So, uh, the other symbols and another topic too, I had a, I, I you know, you, you're going under and you, uh, do that lock mechanism you make sure you put that divot inside uh what am i going to call that actually i should take it off and, and show you guys but there's a divot in here and you put that uh in between uh the plastic and that'll prevent the thing from see mine doesn't spin i don't like them when they spin because if you spin these things your cords can get tangled up but it's not as natural as a real symbol, but you know, 
This only goes so far, it'll spin, doesn't spin all the way, it stops. Same thing on this one, it locks. So, for whatever that's worth on the regular symbols, but the hi-hat's what I wanted to talk about. Just go do that simple thing once a month. This thing's gonna come loose, depending on how often you play it. Just go in there and take off your uh, hi-hat and just, you know, if it's slippery, just get a rag and just twist it to the right, give it a couple tugs and it's in there. Mine was so fucking loose. That's why it was spinning around. So, <laughs> very, something very easy to do. And uh, yeah, that's my video today. Uh, also too, uh, just to add from the last video, uh, I've, been, I've been doing okay with uh, my, my beaters turned uh, around and having the flam pad there. So I, I didn't like it at first, but I got used to it and it, it sounds just the same. So it was just like a personal thing. So to recap, uh, one important thing, it, uh, it was not the pad. There's nothing wrong with the pad. It's not the cables and it's not, thing, it's not anything that had to do with the setting in here. It was the hi-hat stand. That's what's just basically causing this thing to spin around. So an easy fix again, for the hundredth time, just turn it to the right, tighten it up. That's it.